Adam Dunstan. Um, I've been working around in switching for a very long time. And, uh, you know, recently I found myself, you know, looking for something interesting new to do. And, uh, you know, I think um, Sonic has come a long way. Mm -hmm. And I think it's time for uh, the kind of the networking industry to change a little bit. It's been stuck in a rut. Traditional vendor solutions have, you know, kind of turned over and over. There's been new versions of them, but the fundamental way that we do things hasn't really changed. I think Sonic presents a great opportunity for the way we do things to fundamentally change. Mm -hmm. The potential, well, the potential here is that, you know, a great example is I'm, I'm working with some guys and it's an early project and I'm not sure that it'll ever come to fruition, but what they asked me to help them with is a, new, a whole new network protocol. I mean, and so this is not TCP, not UDP, it's not using routing protocols, it's a whole new networking protocol for a very unique application. If I was to go back two or three years, I'd say, you know, you can't do it. I mean, there's no way. You can maybe get something running on a Linux machine, but getting a switch to actually do this, you couldn't do it. There was, you couldn't go to a vendor and get into the switch ASICs. You couldn't get into the software to do it. You couldn't get any of those things done. Today you can. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, with Sonic and, you know, certain switch vendors were, and, and hardware vendors were able to go to that and have a go at that. So I think it unlocks a lot of, you know, really new uh, technology opportunities. I think the other part of it is that it, it'll start to, we can start to meet the needs of a lot of CIOs, which is they don't really want, net, they, they don't really want networking to be a specialization. They want the system to be mm -hmm. what they look after. They don't want to have a whole bunch of networking guys and then some server guys and some storage guys. They want a system to look after and they want to be able to add customers and, and applications to their system without having to go to all these different people. And this will, uh, Sonic provides a very easy way to go and say, hey, look, I'm not going to go and buy some special network, a better version of the last system of, of network automation that I bought. I've got this automation system that's currently managing all this other stuff. I'm just going to weave it underneath that. Yeah. Okay. So that's a near-term opportunity. I think there's mm -hmm. some other great longer-term yeah. opportunities. So, so as, as a customer, you look at it and go, you know, what, what do I need that I can't get today? Mm -hmm. right? And I think there's really two very interesting areas around, around this. You know, one is networking has been, uh, has operated in a very particular way. There's been a lot of work around how do I install new switches, how do I install new routers. But traditional networking protocols are like, well, that's the last thing you do because the network protocol sorts everything out for you. But that reality hasn't existed for a very long time. Mm -hmm. If you're working inside a service provider and you have MPLS VPN customers, the routing protocol doesn't turn them on automatically. There's a provisioning, what they used to call a provisioning event associated with that. And that provisioning event was a long, it was a long duration to get it to come up. I mean, two, three weeks worth of time when in, in theory, this is just another programmatic event. And, and I think a part of that was that the technology that was used to do these provisioning events was not especially advanced. But then you go look at the other end of this where um, cloud providers have adopted this technology taken developers, not necessarily networking people, and said, let me go build something that suits my needs here. And, and every time I make a VPC, I, I talk to a switch, and it happens immediately. No one ever knows that it happened. And so I think what Sonic can do is take us out of this kind of networking rut that we've been in for a long time, where the routing protocol does it all magically. I really got to just install these things. And then this provisioning activation event, some other thing altogether. And, it happens on a very long life cycle. I think we can get out of that, and I think we'll get significant move, moves forward in networking technology.